Now, you may be want <laughs> you may be wondering why there's a DOS uh, prompt here. Well, I'll tell you what's going on. Uh, there's a game. It's a pretty neat game. And uh, I'm going to let's play it. It's just sh short. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, let's see here. Let's choose zero because uh, it's slightly less annoying. It's called Millennium Return to Earth. This is one of those games that I played in my youth. Let's see here. We're going to go to... If you don't choose to select a new game uh, when you first start up the game, then it has this kind of a... What do you want to call it? Uh, a default game where all of the... Well, everything is going to be the same every time you play it right from the start. So I'm going to choose Start New Game, and this randomizes everything. And basically what it does is it... Uh, well, you'll learn. I'll, I'll tell you right now that it just it makes it so that the game is different in comparison. Now, for all I know, there are several pre-programmed games uh, within this executable, I guess you could say. But I don't know that for a fact. So, uh, the goal of the game in this case is that uh, it the year is 2200 AD. And basically, it... Uh, Let's see, it, um... The Earth was hit by something, I don't know. There was some kind of, like, a huge, uh, disaster or something like that. And, uh, let's see. The only people left, the only humans left, are 100 humans on, uh, on the moon, basically. They're in this moon base. And the goal of the entire game, basically, is to, uh repopulate the Earth, make it so that it can be uh, lived on again. Unfortunately, uh, in order to build a colony, uh, you need resources that you can't find on the moon. You have to be able to power your, uh, your resource generator thing here. And on the moon, the only on, of all the resources that you can get, the only resources that you can get are hydrogen, oxygen, water, nitrogen, titanium, aluminum, silica, and iron. Uh, the ones that you're missing, obviously, are very important, but, uh, you don't have access to them yet. Uh, let's see here. We can research new things. You can research other places that you can, uh, colonize, which, obviously, there's a colony already established on the moon. Uh, we already have the specifications for the probe that we can build. Uh, we have specifications for the solar generator, Mark 1. And we have specifications for a nodule. Now, uh, obviously, we're not going to be building any of these anytime soon, and the most important thing at this moment is the solar generators, because you want to be able to... Everything, everything that you produce has a power requirement. It takes 3 kilowatts to make a solar generator Mark I. It takes 410 kilowatts to make a nodule. It takes uh, well, 50 kilowatts to make a probe. You know, so basically, we need to research new things, and it takes time to do that. So, basically, um, you've got ten buttons along the top. The uh, first one, which can be reached with F1, you can reach these from F1 through F10. Moon base, any other colonies that you've established. Uh, the craft roster, which is any ships that you've built. Database, which is where you can check on uh, uh, the other planets and moons and whatnot, uh, if for information on them, and it, what I usually use it for, spelling. Um, <laughs> the uh, bulletin board, which is basically where messages that you get throughout the game uh, are given to you. File access, which is where you can save, load your game, turn sounds on and off, uh, start new games and quit. Uh, log is a little odd. Um, I'm not entirely certain what... I mean, it gives you the number of craft and service, the number of colonies, and the total population. I don't know what CTR stands for. Zoom out, obviously, can take you back, back, back. Advance hour will advance the hour by one. Advance day will advance the day by one. 
And that's how you, we do anything here. Now we've looked at energy, research, resource, and life support. In the middle are the flight bays, and you've got eight hangars, basically, that you can uh, have craft on. Right now they're all vacant. Down here in the bottom corner is a blank space where eventually you can build a bunker and have it put there, and bunkers can hold extra uh, equipment, uh, 260 tons worth. Uh, over here we've got defense, in case we're attacked. You may wonder what that means, and you'll find out eventually. Um, but you have a reserve of uh, base fighters and orbital lasers, but we don't have any of those just yet. And then, of course, there's production, which you can swear you can build things. You click on this uh, monitor over here, and you can select a building project. But, of course, they all take resources, and we don't have any yet. I'm going to be spending the first little while doing research and, spent, and uh, gathering resources, because we might see resource shortages eventually. But uh, we just advance the day like this, and yes, it just make a kind of an odd noise. And you can see the research was completed on the solar generator Mark II. So we can go to the moon base and take a look. It's 12 tons, takes 80 kilowatts, 8 units of aluminum and 4 of silica, which we do have that. But the thing is, is the aluminum is going to run out really quickly if we keep, uh, if we just build those. So we're going to keep researching, and uh, once I have Mark IV, let's see, once I have Mark IV, I'm going to switch to uh, a different research project and start building the uh, solar generators. And basically it just works that way. You know, you just keep, uh, keep going with it. I'm not even going to bother looking at how much these things cost, basically, because, uh, it doesn't really matter. I and mean, you're going to generate the resources anyways. And see, now we've got plenty of aluminum that we can start building things. So we'll build our first solar generator Mark II. And the reason why it's so important is because we're going to be have to have our resource generation turned off for a little while. So you can see production is running. We're building this thing. That's what it looks like. Kind of. Now here we just got the solar generator Mark IV done. We're going to be researching fighter weapon. And is it raining? Holy crap. It is. It's a good thing I'm not going anywhere. Uh, anyways, from so we just keep going. Solar generator Mark II is complete. And basically what it does is it activates the Mark II and it puts the Mark I we had up in storage. So we are, or I should say, it uh, it deactivates it and holds on to it. And of course, now when I say solar generator, er, it's that's what they are. They're solar generators. You know, they just call them solar gen. You can turn this back on and start working on a Mark III, which only takes 160. It takes uh, 37 to, uh, or it takes seven to to. Uh, let's see. I think it's seven to power the base itself, and 30 more power the resource generation. So, yeah. The research is done on fighter. And I'm going to go ahead and do a research on transportation grazer. Alright, our first solar generator Mark III is finished. Now, I'm not going to do anything else. I'm just going to advance the day by one. Oh, this is... Well, it's not as bad. If you're playing with uh, sounds... Let's see, what is it? The, um, if you're using the Sound Blaster instead of PC speakers, then this goes super fast and is a really, really annoying sound. So, yeah. I mean, it's annoying and slow, but it's not as bad. Have to remember, I played this game using PC speakers back in the day. Yes, that's right. This is from my childhood. Now, basically, what they just said there was that uh, the solar generator Mark III, the first one that they built, was faulty, and it blew up and took all of our stores with it. Which is why it's important that the uh, solar generator Mark I only takes 3 kilowatts, because now we are using our entire output. But it only takes, what, 4... Oh, wait, that's a grazer research. Okay, the grazer got done. It's a... Uh, it's obviously a piece of transportation. It's a very important one that we're going to be working on before we even start building probes. Uh, let's see. Solar generator Mark V. And how far are we through this? 77. One more day. So, we had to build a solar generator Mark V. We make that. And obviously, we're not uh, 
gathering any resources, we haven't been. Because I have to build another Mark II. So we get to that. Another Mark II gets built. And now we can start gathering resources again. I play, I'm going to be playing through this game very quickly. So don't expect, uh... Alright, Mark five recently. Don't expect to actually learn a whole lot about this. It's it's a repetitive game, kind of boring a little bit, but at the same time, it's very fascinating. At least it is to me. So the output of 460 kilowatts is perfect. We're going to sit, sit there on the Mark threes because I'm going to start building fighters. I want five of them. It only takes about five to seven days, usually five days, to build a fighter. Now, we haven't even encountered anything hostile yet, but we will, believe me. So, about a month later, and we've got... Oh. The Mark VI research is complete. I know, it looks like we're really, uh... really jumping around here. That was number three. This is number four. And this... Number five. Right? Yep, five. Good. Uh, now I'm going to build the first grazer. First of three. Uh, and we just keep researching the solar generators. Build another grazer. And here it is. We put four crewmen in there. Let us rename this to... Yeah. We'll name it Minecraft. I have never played that game before. Now, here's the thing. Normally what you do is you set course for the asteroids. And then once you get there, you let it sit there for a while. And once you've got something... What it finds is a mineable asteroid. And basically, you just... Uh, you just, um, you know, let it sit there for a while until it finds one, and then when it does, it'll tell you about it, you go check on it, and it'll let you review the cargo. And that's all well and good, it's kind of intrusive, so what we're going to do is turn on the computer. And basically, that means that it's going to do everything on automatic. It will go to the asteroids, as soon as it gets the first mineable asteroid, it'll come back with the uh, cargo. It will land, it'll drop it off, it'll take off, and then it'll go back whole thing is done in um, automatic. Now, amazingly enough, we're using up more than 50% of our energy here, more than 50% of the uh, of the output, so the energy uh, bar down here is red. I'm not quite sure why, it just is. So anyways, ah, there we go. A few days later, Mars Colony Commander Communique. And, yeah, there's a Mars colony. I don't know whether the Mars colony was supposed to be humans that landed on Mars and declared their own independence or something, or if they are just were out of contact with us and they didn't, uh, and they saw what happened and they've decided that they're superior to us or something. I don't know, but, um, basically they are our enemy. And they're saying if you, uh, they lay claim to Earth, and if we don't stay within the bounds of our colony, they're attacking. And guess what? We're not staying within the bounds of our colony. So, let us, uh, let us continue. Um, there's nothing to see here. Now, let's see here. The problem is, is that I can't think of good names for anything, really. Uh, we'll put four more in there, and, uh, let's see here. How about, uh... Hmm. You'd think I would have a, a Toho reference here from Grazing, but, you know, I just can't think of anything. Uh, let's see here. How about... We'll call you... Goldmine. There's no gold in this game, obviously. But, uh... It's just as well. We're gonna want a third one. Why? Because that gives us a steady uh, influx of methane, sulfur, copper, 
and platinum. Those are the five things that we can, can't get on the moon that we can get in the asteroids. So, that's what we want. Probably going to get the research done. No, the grazer gets finished first. That's unusual. And once again, uh, what's a good name for this one? Uh, we shall call you... Well, I guess gold mine makes sense, considering platinum is a precious mineral. But uh, we shall call you... Uh, well, considering that a pair of gases can be found there, we'll call you Gas Miner. Dumb name, I know. I don't care. You guys aren't watching this because it's a good Let's Play. <laughs> You're watching this because you've never seen this game before. Let's see here. Mark 9. And you know, I forgot to start building something new. Um, let us build our first three probes. Whoops. Left the hangar. Uh, your name is Mercury. You can understand why I'm doing this, right? And believe me, there's going to be a lot more where that came from. We're, we're going to send them out to the first three, uh, ooh, I guess, uh, Minecraft just made it to the asteroids. Uh, we want to check the inner planets first, outside of Mars and its two, uh, and its two, uh, whoops, I forgot to build a new probe. Outside of Mars and its new, er, two moons, which we don't want to go to, actually we can't do anything about it anyways. See, Minecraft has a mineable asteroid, so basically it can come back and drop that off. I don't know, I think it found it after the, uh, the probe was built, so it just found it right now, this day. Uh, you are called Earth. Now technically we don't have to send anything to Earth yet, because we know we can't do anything with it, but it has a unique uh, description. Now, I'm going to start building the next uh, solar generators. We want to get a number of them, really. Earth was only three days away, so we can do it like that. Uh, Mercury. And the new solar generator was made. Each one from three on puts a solar panel on one of the uh, eight directions there. So, or adds one, I should say. Uh, let's build five more fighters. Just because. Venus. Okay, solar generator Mark 9 research complete. Let us research Mercury. And your production is complete, so let's build another one. I'm going to build, uh, bring them up to 10, even though we haven't been uh, attacked yet. Now, Mercury has, uh, is capable of supporting life. It's capable of being landed on and, uh, and mined, basically. And they're, they're hydrogoid, which means that they are, uh, they will mutate. Our colonists will mutate if we land on it. Uh, and this is a place where we can pick up, of the things we can't pick up on the moon, copper, platinum, and uranium. Now, having a close source of uranium is nice, because there's exactly one thing that needs uranium, and we're going to want to pick it up. We'll look into it as a possible third colony, though. Let's see. Production's still going but not anymore. There's going to be a point where all we build is going to be fighters. Believe me. Let's take a look at something. Uh, they haven't come back yet. Okay. Now, Venus is methanoid, and here we can pick up silver and uranium. Venus is going to be a good possible uh, choice for, uh, for a colony. And in fact, it might be our first colony, because having silver and uranium is a nice thing. There's exactly one thing that needs silver. And uh, we need 1,205 tons of silver. So we're going to want a close source if we can get some. Let's see, how many fighters do we have? Eight. Earth research complete. Unstable planet! 
probe indicates massive storms and volcanic activity. However, this seems to be gradually subsiding. Unfortunately, gradually is not what we want. We want it to subside, like, now. So, yeah. So, anyways, on to researching the solar generator, Mark 10. One more fighter. And we'll go back to building the solar generator, Mark 5. How much output? Good. Mm, excuse me, uh, let's see. Solar generator Mark 5, and I bet you... Yep, we have 10 units of methane, 50 units of sulfur, 10 units of copper, and 40 units of platinum. So, obviously we're picking up, uh, plenty of, uh, materials here. We want to obviously pick up some... I have an output of 1875. Uh, I'm, at this point, I'm going to build a nodule. Don't have enough nitrogen. Aha! See, we only pick up 0.375 kilograms of nitrogen per day. So it's going to take another, what, like... Oh, that's a third? So we need four more. So yeah, it's going to take like 12 more days to pick that up. But that's okay. We'll just, uh... Go to the end of the month. Whoops. And now we have 41 nitrogen. So we can build this thing. Yeah, nitrogen is one of those, uh... Minerals that we don't have a lot of, but eventually we will. I mean, we won't use it all the time, so... Solar Generator Mark 10 done. Let us research the Wave Rider. It takes a number of days to build a, uh, a nodule. Now, the Wave Rider is interesting. It requires eight units of copper, and not a whole lot else. It's not very large, but it, um, it's special as far as uh, a craft goes. It's... I can't... I don't know. It, the whole point is that it rides the solar waves or something like that. So it takes, like, a portion, just a fraction of the time, or maybe half the timer. I don't know, something like that, to, to uh, get to a location. But it only has 50 tons of capacity. But that's why we have this. Let's see how long it takes to research this thing. The nodule will probably get done first. All right. Now we have more capacity, a capacity of 200. Uh, we can build, obviously, four more of these things to bring us up to a capacity of 600. I'm going to get back to building probes, because we're going to want to start sending them out. All right, car rock research complete. Now, this thing requires 150 tons of copper, so it requires a whole lot more, but it can handle 1,000 tons of cargo, or minerals. Either one. Cargo is usually what you'll send out to other colonies, and minerals are what you're going to bring back. Now, we have 100 tons... Uh, is it tons? Or kilograms? Or I don't know. We have 100 units of copper. So... That's nice. Let's see. Now, here is possibly the most important thing of all. The SIOS. The moon colony is under attack. Here is our first, uh, combat. Launch the fighters, and basically you just aim the, the crosshairs, click to fire, and that took no time because there were ten of us and two of them. At most, you'll see, uh, ten enemies coming at you, uh, under normal circumstances for most of the game. So, probe production is complete. Build another one. We're going to, and I'm going to name this one Pluto, because that is where it's going. I'm going to send it out that far, because it's going to take one year and 44 days to get there. And we want to minimize the amount of time it takes to get to everything. So I'm going to start building probes that are going as far out of the way as possible. And note to those people who say Pluto isn't a planet, it is. It's always been a planet to me. It's what I learned, and it will be for here until forever. And also, uh, this game was from the 80s. Um, <laughs> I already have 
ready to start building it? Yes. So, another probe. Your name is Neptune. Let's see, Neptune. And this is basically what we're going to be doing for a while now. Ooh, the SIOS research is complete. Now, SIOS, I have no idea what it stands for because I don't have the manual nearby enough for me to go and find it. It only takes 100 uh, units of copper, but it takes 100 of platinum as well. Um, a lot of titanium, a lot of aluminum. It's an expensive piece of equipment. It also requires 20,000 kilowatts of power to make it. But this thing is how you build a colony. What happens is you produce it, and then after it gets done, it appears in orbit around the moon. And from there, you send it to where it goes. It can only land on the place that you build it for. So that's something to keep in mind. Let's research the orbital laser now. Probe got done. Took about, oh, three, three uh, days longer than I thought it was going to. And what is it? Triton. Triton is the next place. I don't have the list in front of me. I wrote it out like a year ago, and uh, I don't have it anymore. Uh, another probe? Alright. Ah, Nereid. Alright, so that is two outer planets out of the way. Uh, let's see. Not a whole lot more going. Ooh, the orbital laser research is complete. Now, the orbital laser requires 10 units of uranium. It's not a very big thing, you know. It doesn't take entirely too long, like eight or nine days to build. But the thing is, is that these things are highly destructive. They can take out between three and ten of the uh, enemy fighters every time you use one. But the problem is, they self-destruct upon use. So you can't... Uh, it's very difficult. I only... I say I'll always save them for a very specific event later in the game. And the thing is, is that you have a maximum capacity. You can have up to 99 fighters and 16 orbital lasers. That's just not enough. Which is why you can break the game. That is what uh, having ships with capacity and a bunker is all about. If you store these things out of your regular storage and then build up to your uh, normal capacity and then take them out of storage on the uh, uh, of the ships or whatever, you can actually break the usual limitations. I've managed to get myself up to like 50-some orbital lasers, which is... What is that? hundred and it can take out 150 to 300, um, no, 150 to 500 fighters. And considering I, as I said, they can only they only ever uh, attack you with up to 10. You're still running. Okay, what do we have left? The bunker. Probe. Done. You are going to. <laughs> Spelling things wrong. Uranus. Uh, I think the next one's going to Miranda. Miranda. And note that there are no, um, Huh, that's right. I kind of forgot to do something. Ah, well, whatever. Oh, the research is completed on bunker. Uh, it only takes titanium and iron, and you can only ever build one. It's So it's just kind of there, you know. Uh, I think we are done with everything, so... 
let's check out Venus again. Venus is where our first colony is going to go. And that's mostly because we want it to have time to build up silver. But, of course, we're not ready to do that yet. Uh, let's see. There's actually something I forgot to build a probe for. And I think this only happens when you build a probe that's going to Jupiter. And you'll see what I mean here in a moment. Actually complete. Let's build a probe. Okay. So we built the one going to Miranda. We're going to build the one going to... Ariel. The moon colony is under attack. When the moon colony goes under attack, you can't do anything else. I mean, basically, you can't do anything. So you just have to go and defend your colony. That didn't take long. <laughs> I think getting attacked resets your production or whatever. Or not resets, but it, like, delays it or something. I don't know. The production times aren't always uh, proper. Umbriel. Let's see, it's already got it started, yes. Titania. Yes, Titania. Oberon. Let's see here. Where are you at? You're over here. Oberon. Uh, next up. Probe going to... Hang on. Oh, they're all vacant. Okay, I thought for a second one of them said reserved. They'll say reserved if you're landing a craft onto, uh, onto your base, and, uh, it's on its way, like, you know, it hasn't landed yet. Alright. Going to Saturn. Did I start a new one? Nope. See, isn't this fun, you guys? It's fun to me. I mean, I could do this all day. So wait, what's the first one after Saturday? Mimas. You'd think I would remember that. What with the name and all. Jeez, uh, it takes forever sometimes. Enceladus? Yeah, Enceladus. Ah, okay, here we go. Moon-based traffic control has lost contact with one of our probes. Yeah, uh, the thing is, is it's supposed to be... I could have sworn that it was supposed to be the first probe that you sent out that goes beyond the asteroid belt. But it might not be. This is why I sent Jupiter out, just in case. Because it might be if it targets Jupiter. I don't know. We'll see. Jupiter, lost contact. Yeah, it's like set to, uh, to always be Jupiter or whatever. I don't care. Anyways, uh, you are... Tethys. Of course, you're in the middle of nowhere. Alright. You are... Dion? Dion? I think it's Dion. 
I used to say Dione. Uh, already started on the production. Moon Colony under attack. And now there's four of them. Die. It's like pseudo 3D. It's kind of fun. Uh, let's see here. Another probe. You are Rhea. And you see how it's kind of taking a little bit more time each day, e each new one, to, uh, like, it took 101 days and 103 days to get to where we're going. That's because we're kind of getting a little further away from Jupiter. The times are dependent on where you are in relation to the planet. So it, it's really neat how they've got this. They've got it so that it calculates it out or whatever. Hyperion. See how it's taking 104 days now? So, I'm just already doing that. Iapetus. the last one? Phoebe, of course. How can I forget about Phoebe? Used to be when I used to play this on my old, uh, well, on the old, 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 old 386.16. Uh, I think that's how it's spelled. Nope, I misspelled it. I don't care. When I used to play this on the old, 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 old 386.16, it would, uh... It would lose, uh, the mouse, sometimes. Like, I could, uh... Oh, shoot, I named it Jupiter. I was gonna name it the Jupiter 2. It's already being done. Sometimes I forget to do that. But, um... Whatever. Uh, almost done, really. I mean, we've only got all the moons of Jupiter, which there's far more of them. Um, Amalthea. There's far more satellites and moons and whatnot than, uh... I spelled Amalthea wrong. <laughs> there's far more of them available. Or, available. There's far more of them than what is named in this game. There's a ton of them. Oh, what's your name? Your name was supposed to be Io, I think? Hang on, we'll find out. Your name is Io, yes. Now what's bad is that uh, pretty soon I'm going to hit on the maximum number of craft that we can control. Europa? of them now. They still don't even get it. They tried to get a shot off right at the end there, but they were already dead. Another probe done. Yeah, what was it? Callisto? I think there's two L's in Callisto. Yes. After that, let a you'll notice that there's absolutely uh, 
by now you've noticed for a long, long time, that there's absolutely no music in this game. Um, wait, really? We've already sent out the one for Letta, right? Yes. Did I forget to send it out? I must have. Oh, that's no good. Himalaya? Already running. Himalaya. Sometimes it's... Well, whatever. Another probe. And your name is... Elara? I'm already making another one, right? You're over here, and you're going to Elara. There's one left. You'll notice that no probe was getting made. Traffic computer unable to track any more craft. <laughs> so, we have access, we can build well, there's enough room for all of the outer planets, and or outer worlds or whatever, uh, outer system places, um, if I don't have three grazers going. But I do. Now, we're landing on Saturn. Now, we all know this is absurd. But, uh... Your name was... Pacifay. Ben Pacifay is going to Pacifay. Now, we can research Saturn. And Saturn complete, and Mimas is in orbit there. And data from probe reveals mineral extraction would be extremely difficult here. Amazing, for once we can't land a, a uh, colony on Saturn. That doesn't always happen. Now, I'm going to start the, uh, the research on Mimas, even though that's impossible. But uh, it just means that... Uh, Oh, hey, Jupiter made it. It just means that it can start the research as soon as uh, it's done. Enceladus. Wait, 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 say that again. Enceladus, Enceladus orbit achieved, but it's kind of running together. <laughs> Oops, you're going to pass it by, aren't you? Enceladus. Uh, we're already researching Jupiter. Amalthea orbit achieved. We're going to be seeing that a lot now. Uh, the one for Jupiter is uh, is unique for it. Unusable planet. Probe managed to penetrate the upper atmosphere, but was destroyed by immense pressure at lower altitudes. Let's check out Amalthea. Tethys orbit achieved. Io orbit achieved. We're going to be able to research things for a long time. Uh, too hostile for a colony. I.O. You know what we've been forgetting to do? Produce anything. Let's build fighters. Now that's done. Europa is in orbit. I.O. Sulfuroid. Here we can find um, sulfur and copper and uranium. This is not a place for a colony. Dion, Dion, however you say it, Ganymede, I think the research was done. Uh, Europa is too hostile for a colony, so let's do Enceladus. Fighter production is complete. There's a lot of things going on right now. Rhea, orbit achieved. Uh, Callisto, orbit achieved, and Enceladus research is complete. And Colatus, Nitroid, where we can find uh, copper, sulfur, and uranium. Or cop copper, silver, and uranium. Well, another source of silver. That's always nice. Uh, fighter done. Titan orbit achieved. What else was there? Ganymede research is complete. Ganymede, human, because the... Atmosphere is vacuous. We can find methane, copper, and uranium here. Not a whole lot. Callisto. Himalaya and Leta. Orbit achieved. And what else? 
the fighter production is complete. Moon Colony under attack, and Callista research is complete. Um, yeah, for once you can't put a colony on Callista. And now we have six of them, but there are thirteen of us. We killed them. I've had this game freeze at that point when playing through, uh, through DOSBox. Lara, Orbit Achieved, Fighter was done. Whoops. Did I forget to do a research project? No, I didn't. Uh, let's see. Let a... No. Let a research is complete. Methanoid, where we can find methane, sulfur, copper, silver, and uranium. Fighter is done. Research on Himalaya is complete. Iapetus orbit achieved. Himalaya too hot or no? Yeah, too hostile. Instead of I noticed that we're getting a lot of too hostile instead of insignificant planets, meaning they're too small. Pacife orbit achieved. And research on Elara is complete. Huh? Methane sulfur. Copper, silver, and uranium. Notice that I'm only ever naming off things that we can't get under normal circumstances. And the reason why is because those are the most important things. There's one in particular I'm looking for. Uh, it's unusable. The fighter is done. Lots and lots and lots and lots of just backs and forths and if I research then, nope. Dion. Fighter research. Or fighter research. Uh -huh. Yes, because we've never seen them before. Unusable. Hydrojoid. Silver, platinum, uranium, copper. Hmm. Nothing special. Of fighters. Ah. A deep blue planet. Titan's unusable. Miranda. And the fighter was done. Uh, Hyperion research is complete. Nitroid, copper, silver, and uranium. Not a whole lot there. Lots of planets with silver. I'm kind of surprised. I have this research. It's uh, human. Nothing special there. It's kind of, kind of not enough types of minerals. fighters we have. We're probably approaching 20. Nitroid. Still not what we're looking for. It's probably going to be on one of the outer planets. Like, outer, outer reaches planets. Uranus does not have anything special to make me want it. Oh. Almost forgot. Build fighters. Launch fighters. Nope. Oberon. 